Now you, you had words with uh Rizzo. Yeah, Rizzo, Rizzo. On live. That shit went all over the internet. Um, Sauce Walker, he kind of said something afterwards, but didn't. And to be honest, I didn't know there was friction until the Rizzo Rizzo interview. Um, I didn't know you had probably said you said something about TSF before. Yeah, it had been a whole year, homie. Uh, you know, I had you know just said say, homie, you buying them young niggas earrings and things. Uh, if them earrings cost ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Uh, they grandmothers and mothers would much rather them walk through with ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar than some earrings. Everybody in the everybody in the family looking at you crazy. You showing up with jewelry, but you ain't got the house, you ain't got the car. Man, hey, nephew, when I don't know, but you got all the jewelry. No, nah, so that's I started noticing, homie. Everybody that get the rap game now, they come with a they get a necklace. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets some kind of jewelry. So I'm thinking about that's how they done DOC them, homie. That's how they playing on these niggas. So I thought about the movie Shaka Zulu. When Shaka Zulu realized that the Europeans had came in and tricked him, he was sitting up and he was thinking. He said, <coughs> "He said, uh, how do you trap a monkey?" He was trying to figure out how they tricked him. He said, "How do you trap a monkey?" He said, "Hmm." With shiny objects. That's how you trap a monkey. Hmm. With shiny objects. And then, nigga, you were a boat rich. I come from a granddaddy and them, so, you know, I'm high side. Uh, he said something then. Then they come back almost a year later. So I'm like, why say something now? Uh, so when a little nigga, you know, when you called and said, hey, you want to do it at first, I wasn't with it. No, nah, man, I don't want to do that, homie. <clears throat> then when you said, uh, well, he want to ask, uh, he want to uh, say something about you being a community activist. I said, okay, man, yeah, I'll do it. But uh, he they he he wanted to get me on there and insult me, right? So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm somebody's daddy, and I got a wife, and I got hoes to do what I say do, and I got killers that listen to me, nigga. You go get on her and ask me, uh, when you know you was no bitch. So you go call me a bitch, and I'm supposed to kindly accept that. So when I saw. Uh, he really was a little hoe. Uh, I treated him like I treat a hoe. Won't let the bitch talk. Yeah, I treat the nigga just like I do a bitch. Won't let the hoe talk. So that's how I do a lot of these niggas. When I go to back and forth with them, you don't let no hoe say nothing. Yeah, I talk the hoe. You over talk the hoe. Say bitch. Blah, blah. So that's why I do them niggas like that. Because I've been trained in handling hoes. And <laughs> them niggas ain't trained in dealing with no man that can handle a hoe. So I revert to how I would handle a hoe. So that's why them niggas are ah they can't they can't out talk me homie, they brain capacity don't have the vocabulary or the vernacular to go back and forth with me. So that's why well what's up then bitch that nigga let's fight or give me an address I shoot. That's why they got to go to that. That's why you see these niggas hollering well let's have a boxing match and I'm saying no nah, nigga let's have a spelling bee. I seen that the other day. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, you want to fight. Let's have a spelling bee, nigga, see who can spell the bit. Let's have some math problems and see who can do the hardest math equations, nigga. Yeah, they don't want to do that. So that's how I win, homie, because they're not intellectuals. 